Welcome to the Back of the Net Match Day Vlog. It's Match Day, Bournemouth today at Entertaining Fulham. Our promotion pals from the Championship. It's a double header at Dean Court. Fulham today, Brighton on Tuesday, and we really need the points. It's April Fool's Day today. Hopefully the players in red and black won't be the fools. But I've got a fool with me. He's not a fool, it's Morgan Scott. Hello mate, you all right? Yeah, not too bad. This weather's not very nice, but apart from that, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, we're at the village. We're going to have uh, some food, some lunch, and uh, Man City are playing Liverpool. Liverpool have just taken the lead. So the title race has still got its twists and turns. So's the relegation, mate, the battle for survival. Can we get something today? Uh, yeah, today, you know, without their main man, Mr Mitrovic, we've got to take every opportunity, as Tom alluded to on the preview yesterday, or I... I can't see it being so great. You know, if we can win today, get a point against Brighton, get four from the next two, we've got a great chance against Leicester in a few days' time. Right, come on, let's go in, let's go get some food, have a drink, and then it's off to Dean Court. Up the chest. just got in and Man City have equalised. Now, I don't look too happy about it. This place is full of Liverpool fans. What? 2-1 City. City are absolutely smashing here. City are running away with it. 3-1. We're pleased to be in the company of legends. Ethan, how are you, mate? You all right? Good, you. nervous for today? Nah. What, do you reckon we get something? Yeah. What's your, what's your prediction? 3-1 Bournemouth. 3-1 what? So you're thinking without Mitrovic, without William, we've got a good chance? Yeah. It's going to be our best chance, isn't it? Yeah. Ethan's going 3-1. Oh, cool right, time for some lunch. How was your lunch, Andrew? Was it nice? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, what about the prediction, mate? How are Bournemouth going to do against Fulham today? What's the score going to be? 3 to Bournemouth. 3 to Bournemouth. 0 Fulham. He's saying 3 now. Right, lunch done. Let's get on the road to the Vitality. It's still raining, it's still horrible, but look, we're in search of three points. Hopefully the football can brighten up this miserable day. We've arrived at Dean Court and the place that historically lacks mobile reception. Everyone's been asked now to use their mobile reception to pay via a cashless app. So Ringo, just park, whatever, pay by phone. Let's hope I got some signal. £3.50 now. Cheek. We're outside Dean Court. Fulham oh. fan, Jim here. Jim, how are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Um, is this our best chance to get a result against you I, today? I, I, I've got to be totally honest, I'm very worried today. I think we'll get beat today. I, I hope not, because I'm, yeah, I'm biased, of course, I support Fulham, but I think uh, we've got nothing to hold the ball up today, and I fancy, I think you're playing well. I think, not in a false position, because everyone's down there together, but um, you're a much better team than you're being given credit for by other people in the league. What's your um, hopes? What league position would you be happy with this season for Fulham? I'd, I'd be happy with anything above 10, but I, 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 w I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a lot to the end of the season because I think the FA are having a free hit against us yeah. and we're going to take, a, we're going to take a big hit because of who we are. Not so much of what we've done, 
you know, I think if this, you know, Fernandez gets away with what he done the other week, and yeah. Mitrovic is now being vilified for being the pantomime villain, you yeah. know. Nine match ban. This all, I think you'll probably get a nine match ban. Well, um, best wishes for the game. Well, I, 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 you know, I, 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 I honestly think you, you, of the teams at the bottom, you've got the best chance of staying up. I love this guy. Love this I guy. Know, you can come on again. I know. I know. Cheers, I know. Jim. I do what I do. What you were really interested, actually. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Right, we've got Carol here. How are you, Carol? You're right. Fine, thanks. Yeah. How are you feeling? Confident. Yeah. Yes. You yes, are. I am. You're not the first Cherries fan to say <laughs> that. What's your prediction today? Two 0 Two 0 Bournemouth. Yeah. Can I ask you for a score at this point? It's got to be Solanke. He's got a score. He always scores he against Fulham. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we got a familiar face to some here, Colin. Hello. Also an AFCB vlogger. You're not doing today though, Colin. What's going on? Typically, the one day I'm on back of the net. I'm actually not vlogging today. Yeah. Typical. But I will be next week for Leicester. Look yeah. For that one. Click the card at the top of the screen. We'll put the link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Good vlogs, by the way. Really yeah. enjoy them. Thank you. Very really, much. really enjoy. Are you going to enjoy today? I'm actually. I was saying to you off off camera. I'm actually surprisingly confident about today. And I think you're saying that a lot of people yeah, yeah, have been yeah. saying that. I don't know. It just feels like the right time. We've got. Basically, full strength. Yeah. Fulham, two of their informed players are out. They've got a bit of a ropey patch, so I'm cool. I think 2 0. He's going 2 0. You're not the first person to say that as well. Carol said it too. Dango seconds ago, so. and Solanke. Solanke loves playing against Fulham. It's going to happen. And in the blink of an eye, they've painted the outside of the main stand as well. Look at that. Hello Heather, you are right. I'm good, thank you. Loving the shirt today, I love that one, that's a really nice one. Is it going to be a really nice game today? I hope so. Yeah? What, is it going to be a win? I'm feeling a 2-0, but... Everyone's going 2-0 today! Everyone! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but hopefully. Hello Adam. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you feeling about today? Are we going to get a win? Yeah, we're going to get a win. Go on, who's going who's gonna to score and what's the scoreline going to be? 3-2 to Bournemouth. You've got Ben here as well, how are you mate? You are right? Yeah. How are you feeling about today, mate? You're usually pessimistic. <laughs> yeah, good. Because they lost Fulham and well, they lost Mitrovic and Williams. Didn't they? So, w w what are you saying? We're going to win? Yeah, 1 0. Uh, can I trouble you for the scorers? Um, I hope Dom gets one because he really needs to. And let's go for Phil. <laughs> I knew he was going to say Phil. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Stephen, you alright? <laughs> I'm alright, mate. You? Mate, everyone I'm chatting to is saying 2 0. Apart oh, from your kids, yeah, apart from your kids who are going a bit rogue, but... What, to all... put them? No, no. <laughs> so, uh, are you feeling the same? Are you feeling confident? Are we overconfident? Is this, uh, is this in danger of leaking into the dressing room in terms is. of overconfidence? Well, I don't know. I think the, th the fact that everything's so tight down there, it's not fundamental. Yeah. But I, I think we'll be... I, I'm positive. I think we'll get a win today. I'm going for a 1-0. <laughs> And that's, is that a good thing whether I get whether I say it's a bottom positive? I hope so, mate. That's I quite think, positive. I think we'll get a one nil today. Um, but I don't think it's the end of the world if we don't if it doesn't go our way today, because there's lots of ups and downs between now and the end of the season. So it's not the end, be all and end all today. But let's have a positive one. Anyway. Let's have a come on, let's go in. Right, we are in. Now get it. We all ladies. ladies. Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah, good you? Yeah. How's the team news coming on, mate? From your preview. That's what I said, mate. Oh, let, let, let's see it then. What? 22 out of 22. Yes, two weeks in a row. Let's not go on about it. Um, yeah, no, it was back on. I was pleased I got the Fulham one. I saw a few Fulham fans commenting saying they thought I might have nailed it, which I'm pleased about. Harry Wilson only makes the bench. They have gone Solomon. But for us, yes, yeah, what I said is unchanged. Sub's bench is probably quite interesting because Keeper Moore hasn't made it. Chris Mepham hasn't made it. Samura with the situation. I wonder if the Welsh guys, with them both playing a uh, fair share, easy to leave them out, but Zabardi's on the bench. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Trey always back, Tavernier's back. So, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, no excuses today. We've got a really strong squad out, good line-up. So, 1-0 Solanke's on, mate, I'm telling 1 you. 1-0 Solanke, right, let's get in there. Come on, you heads. Absolute shoddy start. We've been second best to everything. 
Easy go. Fucking easy. Smithy's been done an absolute critical thing to Smithy's done an easy thing now. He's got a. Worst start possible, that. Yeah, that's quite a dust down, eh? There was a check for a possible offside, though. I tell you what, if it's taking this long. It means it's close. Not close enough. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god! What a fucking effort! All over the place. Just wide! So close! Good job, good job, go on! Oh my god! Oh, oh fucking hell! Lean him back, he said it. Fucking hell! People are having enough already. We're going out for their half time pint. Meanwhile, how much room? How much room has he got? Embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! He's offside anyway. He's offside anyway. I don't think he went over the line. He didn't go over the line anyway. Oh my god! Yeah, but regardless, you still got to be. How do you miss from there anyway? Half time, and I think Tiggs is doing the half time challenge. I think we got some footage. It's Tiggs and it's Matthew. Here we go, then it's going to be close something on the floor, lads. There we go. There we go, it's going to be so amazing. Get Tiggs. Keep going, Tiggs. Come on, fella. Oh, Tiggs, what's happening? Oh, and full of, full of our winners. Football. It's still going to give Tiggs and Matthew all our youngsters a big round of applause. We're going to take it this afternoon. Half time, time's here, time you're right. Yeah, we go, are mate. so boring, so boring. Yeah, I know. I was, I was counting down until 30. I think I might have even got on 36, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, um, Yeah, pretty dull, mate. Uh, I don't know, it, just, it, it feels like we start a game like we're one and up, five minutes to go, maybe hanging on, or even the other, other side of it. Like fived it up, just like whatever. It's just so weird. No intensity. Just let them have all the ball. I think when they scored, we had twenty something percent possession. I think we managed to nudge it into thirty. But yeah, it's it's really bad. It'll probably then cut the changes now. It'll bring on players like Tav probably and Christie and just it like, like a bit threatening towards right. the end of the half, but not enough, obviously. Yeah, we had a few half chances, didn't we? I, I didn't realise. I saw it underneath that we tired at the bar. I think he was offside anyway, yeah. but should have scored that. But Dango can't can't shoot Watara player of the month. Um, it's mate, it's awful and it's horrible to. I was so excited about today. I thought, you know, great opportunity. It's so dire. It's unbelievable. But at least the weather's just cheered up. Yeah, beautiful. Love the chairs. Mark's here. We are separated by a bar. Probably a good thing, mate. Yeah, um, not a bad thing. How are you, mate? Crap, on it. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Um, it's just drab. Um, we're giving them too much respect. We're letting them dictate the ball. We've give, we've shown that when we get in behind, we can actually hurt them. Yeah. But. We don't have players who can finish and it's just so dire. We need a bigger second half. We need like a Leicester style comeback really. Let's get back to it, come on.
much, much better. Much, much better. Come on, boys, keep going. Joe Rothwell off, Triore on. So there's going to be a slight shape of change here. Good ball, good ball. in the league at the moment. Well, I'm down in the tunnel, I can't even watch. Absolutely needed that. Absolutely needed that. Not pretty at all, especially in that first half, but fair play, the changes in the second, they worked. Uh, bringing Christian Tavernier on proved to be a masterstroke in the end, and uh, look, we are above the relegation zone. Good momentum. Let's do fan camps. Right, folks, we'll get up and down. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Right, introduce yourself. I'm on Bailey. Sherry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scott. 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 Fan cam, oh, I feel a bit weird. I feel a bit weird when I go outside. Fan cam's done. Um, roll reversal, Tex. Good camera work, yeah. but then I suppose you you probably didn't want to show your face after what happened half time. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, uh, if you haven't caught it already, I did. Uh, I did stack it. Quite honestly. <laughs> Stack, stack of the net. <laughs> stack Back of the, of the net. net. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But I'm blaming the shoes. Yeah. Not, not. It's not my football skills. It's the shoes. Look, I've still got grass. I've still got bits of Dean Court in my shoes. Mate, I like you can sell that on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. And but, down my jeans. <laughs> I told you half time. This will be fine. <laughs> you did, mate. I didn't. You, no, you didn't. I talk about a game of two, uh, two hours, mate. Oh my god. I mean, I'm sure Fulham will say the same, but yeah, I don't. I mean, credit for the second half of course and the subs were right and Tavernier was sensational and I'm not going to be one of them that says well why didn't he start because I think we remember the Wolves game he started he broke down so I get it but yeah brilliant introduction from him I just I don't know if you agree mate I just feel I don't know what people say on the fan cams but I feel like we go into these games with so much fear like oh god you know we better sit off 
and then they dominate the ball. And then as soon as we're one 0 down, we go, ah, oh, let's have a go then. And then, and then we're brilliant because yeah. we've got good players. We've got really good players. Um, Chuffer Dom. Yeah, he said he'd scored. He, he said, said he'd scored. scored. Sorry, so Fulham, but he does. Not the cleanest of finishes. No, I mean I'm right behind Lelo, and obviously the screen had the replay today, and Lelo won that for himself. I think he probably should have held it, but not only to have it, Christie probably won't get the credit. But I thought his energy helped. Subs were bang on. He could have easily brought Zabani on at the end, but he didn't. He brought Semenya on and kept the intensity up. But um, mate, we were one of the worst I've seen us in the first half, and then one of the best in the second half. And fortunately for us, we kept it at one, and we got two in the second half. But Hopefully that's a bit of a wake-up call now that we have got the players to hurt teams. We don't need to sit off and let them have all the ball. We can have them. We can have them, mate. We um, we got the points, mate. Needed needed that. Yeah, it was. I, I mean, that Tavernier, uh, Tavernier and uh, Christie changed the game. It's, I've never seen two subs change a game so so efficiently. It's yeah. quite incredible, really. And that goal from Tavs. I mean, how many players would actually even bother to try that? Yeah. And that's what we needed. We needed someone on the pitch who's just going to try try something, do yeah. something different, and it just worked. It was great. Um, and I think it just it just lifted everyone. We're going to Brighton now and then Leicester afterwards. We've got a chance, I think. We've got, We've got a, chance. a chance. we got a chance. Up the chairs. I'll tell you what, Lee's got spanked. Wolves and Forest drew. I'm, I, would take, I, I would take eight. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'm looking up, mate. Yeah, you're looking up. Come on. Mate, you're always looking up at your height. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching the Back of the Netflix. What can you do? Oh, I'll be rounding up. Rounding up. Um, Give it a like, yeah. and I know the Fulham fans have been really nice, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry about today, yeah, but yeah. we enjoyed the Parker chant, giving yeah, yeah. Parker a bit of yeah, grief, well, enjoyed okay. that. We had some players out today. I really appreciate the result because you'll be fine this season. Yeah, so um, sure. give it a like, give it a subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Love the chairs. Love you. Come on. <laughs>